Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I shall be reviewing the show Roller Coaster by Wes Peden. Before I do this, you know the drill. If you like it, press like. If you want to subscribe to it, subscribe to it. If you don't, don't do any of those things. If you really like it, share it with friends, with your mouth. You don't have to do it online if you don't want to and put it on your social media, even though that'd be lovely. Tell people about this channel, say that was good, and then they can have a look at it too, and everybody will be happy, including me. And do look at onlinemagic.co, that's my online magic course. I have just uploaded a 40 odd video coin magic course. I've just filmed and edited a course on rope magic and, uh, and more to come. And I'm gonna do one on Spongebob magic soon because Spongebob magic is very good fun. And we have live sessions every week and David Williamson coming up soon. How exciting. If you're watching this in the future, don't worry. They're all uploaded onto the course and you can watch them anytime. So that's that. Uh, and talking about good fun, um, I've just been to a juggling convention, which I'm going to do a separate video about because I've just got back into juggling. I'm still a magician, so you, you can be both. It's, uh, it's, it's allowed. And I, uh, it was a very joyous experience, very, very different to a magic convention. So I'm going to talk about that as a whole different thing, but I think in, important and interesting because for a while I did think it was one or the other. It was a kind of was so obsessed with magic and juggling was like a thing I did in my show and you wouldn't do it for fun. And then I just discovered this whole world of joy and rediscovered the joy in magic as well. It's really a kind of renaissance. Is that the word? Yes, I don't know, for me. <laughs> just trying to sound pre clever and ended up sounding pretentious and silly, but that's fine. Um, right, so here's the part I'm gonna talk about. I'm not gonna talk about the convention, now. I'm gonna talk about the show. Now, the good thing about going back into a world you were once in is you're unfamiliar with the people in it. And I did catch up with a lot of people that are still in it after 30 years or 26 years or whatever. But the, the last show I went to see was West Peden. Now, West Peden was everybody was talking about it. It's going to be great. I, I was embarrassed. I didn't know because, again, I'm kind of new old. Um, so I thought, OK, it's going to be a great juggling show. Juggling to me is like magic. At its best, it is the most beautiful, wonderful thing to watch. At its worst, it can be really dull. And I thought, even if he's a brilliant juggler, I, I just knew nothing. And I made sure I knew nothing. I didn't Google anything that day. I just kind of went and someone did say to me, I think it's the best juggling show I've ever seen because he did a show earlier. And I went, okay, but that still might just be a skilled juggler. And I sat, I was very tired. It was the last day, as, as you are on the last day of any convention. Uh, and the show started, the show started and I saw the set, which was these inflatable kind of structures, very colorful. And he came on and within three minutes, I was just, uh, I had that feeling I, I don't get that often in any kind of magical juggling or show of the allied arts, circus, whatever. Um, that I do sometimes get in theater and film, but I was, I was, didn't feel like I was watching a juggling show. I felt like I was watching as I said, like I feel with a really good film, I'm just in, I'm in it. But that's only in the first few minutes, so I'm going, okay, okay. And it just, it did something that I hadn't seen for a very, very long time and maybe never seen, is it showed me something, like some incredibly high skill level, which we see in magic and we see in other things, but with imagination, but also an incredible energy that builds and an, an immense amount of entertainment and and inspiration. So briefly, the show is about lots of things really, but it, the, the theme of the show is roller coasters. There's a voiceover that his voiceover talking about roller coasters, giving you information about roller coasters, and then the voiceover stops. It's his voice. It's almost like he's talking, but it's it's just all all done with voiceover as he's looking at the and and he's got in, incredible connection even without using his voice because he's a performer he's he's clearly knows his his theatrical chops and he's very very comfortable on stage but that's kind of what he's known for and but a lot of people watching this will be magicians and you won't know that um so he he talks about roller coasters and he talks about the show the tension and i've actually read this between sort of security and risk this idea of doing things which I really relate to. I'm so scared a lot of the time to, to perform certain things, to try certain things that may fail. And it, it, it seemed that the, it was a 
about that kind of thing of something feeling dangerous but not feeling dangerous you know you're on a roller coaster you know you're safe but you don't feel safe and he's got this wonderful bit where he tries these mind but i mean every bit of juggling in this is mind-bendingly difficult but the, there's one moment where he's doing things that i'd never seen didn't think were possible because i haven't been in that world that weren't possible when i was last juggling you know 26 years ago you never saw some of these tricks but obviously that could go wrong but he had this wonderful thing in place that would happen every time he tried something that would inevitably because he would just do it until he dropped I mean it was just such a preposterously difficult thing the fact he did it as long as he did but it wasn't like I'm going to finish this nice I'm going to finish this till I drop and then he used this kind of mechanism which was so joyful to justify the drop and actually you being glad that the drop happened and and made it better and it's something that we can learn so much from is that thing of okay as magicians or performers or jugglers or anything, we have always got that thing of going, do I try that? Will it go wrong? Will I look stupid? And actually we can turn it around. Not, I don't mean in the way that we create a nice gag, like, oh, I've dropped it. Oh, that's where that goes. Or better put that there, etc. which I do all that. That's great. But in a way that actually enhances it and makes it so much better. And I suppose it is a kind of gag, but it's a mechanism to, to, that's kind of feels cleverer than a gag. Anyway, I'm kind of waffling, but the point of the matter is I was seeing things that made me reassess my own way of thinking about my approach to magic performance, juggling anything. And that's what true inspiration is. And I got that not from a magic show. And I think for us magicians that are watching this and hopefully there'll be some jugglers too, to take from that, not just the, oh, we can do really good, difficult things on stage, but to, to see that it can be framed in a way that is, that is different to what we've seen before. And, and for me, I kind of came out of that show feeling as if, as if certain things were possible, not the tricks. Those tricks aren't possible for me because I don't have that level of commitment to be able to do that or skill. And it isn't my goal. But what my goal is to do is to go onto stage with a different mindset and a different way of looking at things and maybe refocusing what a show could be. And, it, and it re I really did find it that life affirming. It was like, I, I can actually see things differently, maybe not just with juggling and magic, but with different things because I've seen this show. And I came out of that show, I couldn't say that was a good show because it was so much more than that. And I think that's what good theater does. It, it gives you something that isn't just, I've seen a good musical, I had nice songs, I've seen good magic, had great tricks, I've seen, there's something else that, that, um, that goes on there. And, I, I've had similar things with magic shows. I didn't go and see it in and of itself, but, I, but I, that's what people came out of that show. I've seen it, the, the video of it, which is a totally different thing, of course, but people came out of that show feeling the same way. They were saying, you know, you've got to make the effort to go all the way to New York to see it. And I would say that about this show. I would say if you're a juggler, a magician, or none of those things, if you're none of those things, if you're watching this, what are you doing? But uh, welcome to this, uh, this slightly twisted world of mine. But... Um, or ours, but I would really recommend you try and see this. Wherever you are in the world, Google it now. He is touring. He's in Salisbury in a couple of weeks. Uh, the show's called Rollercoaster West Peden, uh, as is uh, the Gandini Company, um, and touring around Europe. Do Google it. Try Do what you can to see this show, and I would love to know what you think, because for me, it was the best juggling show I've ever seen in my life, but it was so much more than that. It was the best show. The way he interacted with props, the way he interacted with the audience, the way that every single, another inspiration, every single movement was, had a, had a kind of thought had gone behind it. There's a bit where he comes out and he does a routine, amazingly, a routine to kind of mourn the loss of old roller coasters um, with two spinning plates. And not like proper, you know, difficult spinning plates, the, the, the kids' spinning plates, but m it's the most beautiful routine. But he folds up a piece of material just before or after that. And just the way he sits down and folds it up, is every single move is choreographed. And for someone like me, who's just completely all over the place on stage. I'm losing props all over the place. The stage is full of crap afterwards, not intentionally. I've got things in different pockets. I don't know where they are. It, you know, it inspired me in a kind of almost like a practical sense of, you know, get your stuff together, Steve, and be a bit more thoughtful about these things. And uh, <laughs> I'm not saying that I came out of this show going, I better fold my props up uh, properly. I'm not saying that at all. But it, it, it was something, under, the thing that underlines that. Anyway, what a waffle this is. What I'm trying to say is go and see that show. Tell me what you think and do anything you can to go and see it. And if, if it's not going on near you, um, put it on. I was tempted, like I did with Luke Jamea. I kind of put 
put Luke on up uh, in Sheffield. I was thinking, I wonder how much it would be to uh, fly him over and put him on. But there you go, that's a different thing. So, uh, thanks very much. That was Rollercoaster by West Peden. Do look at the links below. Check out his stuff. Check out his stuff on YouTube. You, you know, if you think you're not into juggling, check out the imagination again, be inspired by that. He's got some amazing YouTube videos, which I think is just lovely. Best juggler in the world for me. Um, uh, best show, one of the best shows I've ever seen. It feels at the moment like the best show I've seen ever because of, I'm still reading from it. Um, but just a beautiful, wonderful, inspiring piece of work. Go see. Uh, thanks very much. Also go and see onlinemagic.co. Um, if you want to learn magic from a pro, onlinemagic.co. Have a great one.